Assalamualaikum friends. My name is Mahmood Sajid. You are watching Introduction of Biology with Mahmood Sajid. We have studied chapter number seven in which today we study the last topic of chapter number seven uh, that is respiration. In which we study the types of respiration that is aerobic respiration and and anaerobic respiration. So don't forget to watch this video till end. Before starting the lecture, if you are new in my channel, subscribe to my channel so you can get my latest videos. So let's go to the screen. Today we start a new topic that is respiration. What is respiration? During the process, the CH bond means the carbon and hydrogen bond are broken by the help of oxidation reduction reaction. In the uh, first lecture of chapter number seven, we studied that oxy what is oxidation reaction reduction reaction, which is also called redox reaction. In this process, uh, do, uh, when the CH bond are broken, the both carbon dioxide and water are produced. Because uh, hydrogen, uh, the water is made up of hydrogen and the carbon dioxide is also produced because uh, this is a carbon and hydrogen bond. The cellular energy yielding process is called uh, uh, cellular respiration. This all process that, uh, that occur in our lungs is called cellular respiration. The uh, following are the explanation of cellular respiration that the most common fuel used to get energy by cellular respiration is glucose. That the uh, that uh, our body get cellular for the most common thing that our body gets uh, by the help of cellular respiration is glucose. The the way of cellular uh, glucose is uh, oxidized depend upon the availability of oxygen. The, that the glucose is oxidized. Uh, depend upon the availability of oxygen. Glucose is uh, 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 depend on the oxygen. The there are two types of uh, respiration. First is aerobic respiration. Second one is anaerobic respiration. The uh, cellular respiration occur in the presence of oxygen is called aerobic respiration. While the one that occur in the absence of oxygen is called anaerobic respiration. Now study the uh, detail of aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So first we study about the aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration. In the presence of oxygen, complete oxidation of glucose occur with maximum release of energy. Uh, in aerobic respiration, the uh, uh, glucose is oxidized uh, with the maximum release of energy. In this process, uh, the energy will release at the maximum point. The first phase of aerobic respiration that a molecule of glucose, 6 carbon, is broken down into two molecules of pervic acid. A glucose molecule contains 6 carbon. When they are, uh, when they are uh, broken down into 2 uh, molecules in aerobic respiration, they make the pervic acid, means the uh, 2 atom of 3, uh, 2 molecule of 3 carbon. In the second phase, molecule of pervic acid are completely oxidized, all CH bonds are broken. First phase that in uh, glucose are broken down into two pervic acid. In the second phase that pervic acid uh, are completely oxidized and the all CH bond of pervic acid are broken to CO2 and water uh, and all the energy released. After second phase, all the energy is released. The overall reaction is as follows that C6H12O6, this is the formula of glucose, and 6O2, O2 is the oxygen. When carbon, uh, glucose, and oxygen uh, uh, join, they form the CO2, 6CO2 plus H2O, and the energy is released. This is the aerobic respiration. There are three phases that in first phase, uh, Glucose is uh, broken down into molecules, uh, two molecules which is pervic acid and the second phase that pervic acid are completely oxidized and the all CH4 present in the pervic acid are broken down and the third year the all energy is released in the end of the aerobic respiration. So this is the first type of respiration. The second type is anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration which is also called fermentation. In the absence of oxygen, ox uh, glucose in is incompletely oxidized with less amount of energy released. In aerobic respiration, with the presence of oxygen, glucose is completely oxidized. 
with the maximum amount of energy but in uh, absence of oxygen uh, that uh, in aerobic respiration glucose is not completely oxidized and the less energy is released in this process in aerobic respiration the first phase is exactly similar to that of aerobic respiration that uh, in first phase molecule is or the six carbon molecule of glucose is also broken down and make two pervic acid second phase in second phase pervic acid is not completely oxidized due to the absence of oxygen in uh, uh, f uh, aerobic respiration or uh, pervic acid is uh, uh, completely oxidized due to the presence of uh, oxygen but in um, uh, an aerobic respiration the pervic acid is not completely oxidized due to the absence of oxygen it is transformed into ethyl and lactic acid in this way ch bond mean carbon and hydrogen bond are left unbroken in the product and uh, an aerobic res uh, respiration is further classified into al alcoholic fermentation and the lactic fermentation the al uh, an aerobic respiration are um, further have two types first is alcoholic fermentation and the second one is lactic fermentation so let's study about the alcoholic fermentation and the lactic fermentation first alcoholic fermentation uh, it mean uh, it's a name that that it uh, use uh, alcohol yeah uh, mean it uh, make alcohol by using bacteria they, when we uh, join bacteria with the pervic acid it make ethyl or alcohol and carbon dioxide it occur in uh, bacteria and yeast etc in this type in the type of alcoholic for, uh, aerobic respiration pervic acid is further broken down into alcohol c2h5 and oh and co2 mean uh, when pervic acid is joined with bacteria they make the uh, ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide so this is the first type of anaerobic respiration the second type is lactic uh, acid fermentation it uh, when we um, it occur in skeletal muscles of the humans and other animal during extreme physical activities this has this also happen in bacteria present in the milk in this type uh, an aerobic in the type of anaerobic respiration each pervic acid molecule is, is converted into lactic acid that in lactic acid fermentation the each pervic acid of three 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 carbon and they do there are two pervic acid in anaerobic anaerobic and anaerobic respiration and the aerobic respiration that glue in first phase of glucose uh, uh, broke uh, glucose is broken down from six car six carbon to three carbon the par pervic acid consists of three carbon so there are two pervic acid that in lactic um, lactic acid fermentation the pervic acid is converted into lactic acid so this is the anaerobic respiration so this is the topic of respiration that's all uh, today's lecture is finished if you like my video please like it and if you have any problem about this topic tell me in comment once again if you are new in my channel subscribe to my channel so you can get my latest videos so we we'll meet in the next lecture till then Allah Hafiz